happened? What? Oh, oh, oh big trouble. What? Oh. Uh. Look at that. It will be again like in the Garden of Eden. That's all the spirit of prophecy is for. To lead you back to have that experience with the lion. That your daughter or your child can play with wolves. Wow, it's going to be incredible. That's what the spirit of prophecy is there for. And I really would like to encourage you to go and study the, the works and the things that she's done and the things that she's spoken about in the spirit of prophecy. She is an incredible blessing to God's people. But we need to make a decision to put our feet into the water before we'll see the Jordan open up. If you're finding out about Sister White for the first time and you are, you are finding out about the plan of salvation through the sanctuary for the first time, then please realize that the Lord might ask of you to take a step in faith, to start reading up on her, her writings, to start studying her writings and, and know that there's a blessing waiting for you if you open your heart, you open your mind, and you receive that blessing as it will be in heaven. Brothers and sisters, just as in the days of Noah, a prophet has been preaching worldwide about a coming judgment for over a hundred years. This is a prophet with both a gospel message and a food message. The parallels are phenomenal. When we get into the ark, do, have, have you studied the ark? I encourage you, don't do it now. I won't show you the graphic now, but go to Genesis 6 sometime and read about the structure of the ark and how it was made. And you'll see that it had three levels. Isn't that brilliant, beautiful? You have the ark of the covenant, the mercy seat, and the Shekinah glory. And we read in the Bible, you have the first heaven, the second heaven, and the third heaven. There where God is, the third, it's called the third heaven. Just like that, with in, the, in the ark, when you read about Noah's ark, they had third levels. And I'll give you this one text, Genesis 6 verse 16. It says, a window thou shalt make to the ark. In a cubit thou shalt finish it above, in other words, on top. And the door of the ark thou shalt set in the side with the lower second and the third stories thou shalt make it. So this has three stories and right on top there's one window about the arm's length of a man. One window, one window on top. Why? Because when you get into the ark, everything changes. In the days of Noah, there was no... No, uh, uh, there weren't windows that they could look out and see what was going on in the world. No, they cut themselves off from the world and by faith entered into a belief system that somehow the Lord would keep them safe. Their only view that they had was the little window looking upwards towards heaven. Today it's the same thing. If we as God's people move into the most holy, the only view we have, brothers and sisters, is upward of heaven. The Lord is still calling. And He's saying to you that everything is going to change when you get into the ark. Today, when you look at the world, and I'll show you this picture, you look at the world at night and you see the bright lights of Europe and the bright lights of North America. You can see there South Africa, Gauteng, and Cape Town, that little dot. You can see Perth and Melbourne and Sydney and Brisbane, these amazing cities and the far east, the bright lights. You can't see any trouble as you look at it from space. But inside, brothers and sisters, the Lord is saying, please keep the memorial of the creation. Remember the Sabbath day. And anyone who breaks one of the least of these commandments and taught others to do the same will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You see, I would like to invite you as God's servant to enjoy the blessings on Friday evening, when the Sabbath starts and the sun sets, enjoy the blessings of the Sabbath. But do you remember what Angela Monet said? She said, those who danced were thought to be quite insane by those who could not hear the music. If the Lord has called you into the most holy, understand that He's calling you in by yourself, husband, husband, separate from wife. 
Your wife has to make her own decision. Your children have to make their own decision, right? Your wife might go in and the husband's, this is the way this is going to cut. The Lord says, I haven't come to bring peace on earth. I've come to bring a veil. I've come to bring a sword to separate father at variance with his son, mother at variance with her daughter. This message is going to call people in and people are going to make decisions for truth or against truth. But if you decide to turn towards the West, accept and acknowledge the law of God and keep the Sabbath as a sign, then please realize that those that can't hear the music, those that have not yet had the spiritual experience will think that you've gone mad. And that's what I have in my own family. People think, we, we don't even discuss religion because it just blows like you cannot believe. Everything explodes. And it's more important for us to save souls than at what it is to try and Bible bash people into believing what you believe. Give them the DVDs and let them experience this message for themselves. You see, the Lord has to bring an end to sin. He's let, the, he's let Satan rule this planet for 6,000 years, but he's going to reset the button. He's going to reboot it, brothers and sisters. And there's a, there's a heaven coming like we cannot believe. Images like this have to stop. It has to end. These children have to stop the suffering, brothers and sisters. Why does this have to happen around the world? Well, Jesus says, this pain, I will wipe away all tears. And behold, he cometh with the clouds and every eye will see him and they also which pierced him. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so will be the coming of the son of man. Jesus is coming to fetch his people for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with a trumpet of God. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather his elect from the four winds from the end of the heavens to the other. Jesus is coming. He's coming to fetch you and he's not slack concerning his promise. He's not, he's not slack at all, brothers and sisters. Like 2 Peter 3 tells us, he is long suffering. He is suffering long. He sees those children. He sees that you've been raped. He sees that you have had an abortion. He sees that our children are on drugs and the Satan's attacking God's people. And he says, I'm suffering with my people. Please understand, the reason I haven't come yet is because I want everyone to come to repentance. I want the whole world in the most holy. But there's a veil and people are going to make a decision. And I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, to realize what Ephesians 4, verse 4 and 5 said. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are being called, come out of her, my people, into one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. How many options are there? Come, my people, as Isaiah 8, 26 tells us, come my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut the doors about thee. Hide thyself in the most holy as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Get into the ark. The, the, the flood's coming. The, the final events are going to be like you've never imagined in your worst nightmares. But just hide in the ark and trust by faith. Keep your eyes on that little window at the top of the ark and believe that somehow the Lord is going to pull his people through. A question I have for you today. Are you going to listen to his call? This is the question. Are you going to listen? Please, if you do decide to wrestle with the Lord at the veil, to give him the blue and the red, and you decide to get into the ark and become part of God's church, please do not come looking in the church for perfection. Do not come into the church looking for perfection. Come looking in the church for truth. That, yes, absolutely. But the, God's church, Satan is attacking it at the moment. You cannot believe the things that 